As a new trader, you might feel overwhelmed by the endless charts and indicators, struggling with fear of missing out on big moves or fall prey to emotional trading decisions. But what if there's a way to simplify your trading process, capitalize on quick price movements, and maintain a disciplined approach? Head over to the tradingview.com, navigate to the indicators section, in the search bar, type in Darvis Box Buy Sell to locate the indicator. Once you find it, click on the indicator to add it to your chart. Once you successfully added the Darvis Box Sell indicator to your chart, you'll observe that the indicator automatically draws boxes around consolidation areas. These boxes are instrumental in identifying potential trading opportunities. Keep an eye out for breakouts from those boxes as they generate buy and sell signals. When the price breaks above the upper boundary of a box, a green buy signal appears, indicating a potential long entry. Conversely, if the price breaks below the lower boundary of a box, a red cell signal emerges, signaling a possible short, signaling a possible short entry. But before we use the indicator, let's fine-tune the indicator settings for better performance. To do this, locate the inputs tab of the indicator and change the length value to 9. Additionally, disable the T box and NN box options to declutter your chart and focus only on the signals. Now, as you can see, the indicator isn't perfect on its own and it's essential to filter out weak signals and identify strong ones for better trade entries. But before that, if you haven't already subscribed to the Trade Genius channel, make sure to do that because you'll get access to over 300 profitable and free strategies. Now with that out of the way, let's get back to the strategy by adding the 4 EMA indicator to our chart. This will help us filter out those false signals and significantly improve our trading results. Now after adding the 4 EMA to the chart, let's focus on adjusting the 4 EMA settings for optimal results. Start by changing the EMA1 length to 20, EMA2 length to 50, EMA3 length to 100, and leave the EMA4 length as its default value of 200. The source can remain set to close. Next, navigate to the Style tab to make a few changes that will improve the indicator's visibility on the chart. The 20 period EMA provides insights into immediate price movements and helps identify potential trend reversals in their earliest stage. The 50 period EMA offers a balance between short and long term trends, allowing us to recognize the overall market momentum and emerging trends. The 100 period EMA focuses on sustained price movements and helps determine the broader market trend as well as potential long-term support and resistance levels. Lastly, the 200 period EMA gives us an overall view of market health and allows to gauge the strength of a trend. The way these moving averages are arranged plays a vital role in determining the direction of the trend. Let me explain how it works. When you look at your chart and notice that the 20 EMA line is above the 50 EMA line and the 50 is setting above the 100 EMA and the 100 EMA is higher than the 200 EMA, this price movement can be identified as an uptrend. Just keep in mind that the price candles should also be above all these lines to confirm the upward momentum. For a downtrend, the situation is reversed. When you observe that 20 MA line is below the 50 MA line, the 50 MA is positioned beneath the 100 EMA and the 100 EMA is lower than the 200 EMA that suggests that the market is experiencing a downtrend. In this case, the price candles should be trading below these moving average lines to further validate the downward momentum. When the market is in the sideways or ranging bound condition, it indicates that there is no clear direction in the trend and prices are moving within a horizontal channel. In the term of our four moving average lines, here's how they might behave. During a sideways market, you'll often observe the four EMA cluster together, almost overlapping or moving very closely to one another. You may also notice frequent crossover between the MA lines, but none of them maintain a consistent 
position above or below the other for an extended period. Additionally, the price candles may repeatedly cross the MAs in both directions without establishing a clear trend. This back and forth movement across the MA lines is another sign that the market is lacking a definitive direction. Here's how you can use the Darvis box indicator and the moving averages to generate buy and sell signals and manage your trades. When Darvis box indicator generates a buy signal, you should first ensure that the signal candles close price is above all the four moving average lines. Additionally, confirm that the moving averages are in the correct order for an uptrend with the 20 above 50, 50 above the 100 and the 100 above the 200 EMA. Once you confirm these conditions, you can enter a long position. To set your stop loss, place it slightly below one of the moving average lines. This will help protect your trades in case the trend reverses. To determine your take profit level, set it one and a half times the risk of your trade. This will give a favorable risk to reward ratio, ensuring your potential profit is one and a half times greater than your potential loss. One notable aspect of this strategy is its ability to effectively avoid counter trend signals like the sell signal that appeared in an uptrend market. This is a testament to the strategy's accuracy and reliability in filtering out false signals. And when aiming to execute a sell trade, your primary focus should be on identifying a clear downtrend and spotting the perfect momentum to enter. To ensure this, you should first verify the moving averages are arranged in the following order. EMA 20 is below EMA 50 and the 50 EMA is beneath the 100 EMA and the 100 EMA is under the 200 EMA. Additionally, examine the price action to confirm that the candles are trading below all these moving average lines. This further supports the presence of a downtrend. Now keep an eye out for the Darvis box indicator and wait for it to generate a sell signal. Once you observe the signal, double check that the signal candle's close price is indeed below all the moving average lines. This additional confirmation increases the chances of a successful sell trade. After meeting these conditions, you can confidently enter a sell position. Set your stop loss slightly above one of the moving average lines or just above the recent swing high, protecting your trade from potential price reversal. And to establish a favorable risk to reward ratio, calculate your take profit level by multiplying the risk of the trade by 1.5. This ensures that your potential profit is one and a half times greater than the risk of your trade. In a similar way that our strategy filters out sell signals during an uptrend, it also helps you avoid buy signals that occur during a downtrend, thus protecting you from potential losses. If you're interested in discovering a simple yet powerful trick and indicator that can potentially double your trading profits, be sure to check out the recommended video. Invest just a few minutes of your time to uncover this game-changing strategy.